guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing an OG type YouTube video and this is going to be a what's in my bag updated for the year of 2019, the end of 2019, which is crazy. I literally feel like I'm still recovering from my hangover from New Year's Eve and now it's almost New Year's Eve again. What? Let's cross our fingers and hope that 2020 is going to be a good year. I'm really hopeful, but anyway, with getting back on subject here, I really wanted to do an updated what's in my bag because kind of recently I got a new bag and I made like a whole dramatic unboxing video, story time video about it, and ever since that video has gone up, a lot of you have been asking me for an updated what's in my bag. So that's what we're doing today. So you all are probably like, Brie, where's the bag? What? Let me see your bag. What's inside? Let's look at it. It is this bag right here. This is a authentic Chanel <laughs> bougie. So yes, I did recently do a full unboxing video of getting this bag. This has been my dream bag for the last 10 years, not even kidding you. I know a lot of you who are like handbag connoisseurs, you're looking at this saying that bag is old as fuck. Yes, I know, but let me just say, when it comes to designer handbags, I am someone who is very much a fan of the older styles rather than the newer styles. If you guys want to know the full backstory on why I'm so obsessed with this bag and you want to see me unbox it and you want to see me cry about spending $1,300 on a used bag, I will have that video linked up in the corner so you guys can watch that. But yes, this is my bag. It is a authentic Chanel bag. It is... It is beautiful. This has been my everyday bag since I got this bag a while ago, and I have not done a what's in my purse yet. So this bag has a lot of shit in it. So we're just gonna take things out one by one and show you what is inside. So the first thing that we're gonna start with is on the back because it does have like a little pocket right here. And really the only thing that I keep in there is my chapstick so it is easily accessible. So the two chapsticks that I have are the peppermint candy cane one and the other one which I discovered, there's like dog hair everywhere, sorry. And the other one is this vanilla latte chapstick oh my gosh my all-time favorite chapstick in the whole world is this candy cane one and I saw this vanilla latte one and I was like yes yes bitch yes so I always keep chapstick in my purse because I am very crusty in the lip area so I always like to keep those in my purse and then Inside we have the main compartment, we have zippers, we have other little compartments. We'll start with the side compartment, which is, I don't even know how well you guys can see that. It's like over here, that one right there. We're gonna start with that one. So in there is where I just keep a couple of little things. I have a, looks like a Bath and Body Works hand cream. This is in Twilight Woods. I love their little hand creams. Every time I get a coupon in the mail for like a free gift or whatever, I always use it to go buy their hand creams or their lotions. I love it so much. And then I also have a Scentbird perfume in here. This is in Dolce & Gabbana and this is the one. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it is like there's barely anything left in there. I always like to keep a perfume in my purse as well, you know, just to like freshen up, smell nice again. Cause I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I have such a fear and a phobia about smelling bad. So whenever I feel like I'm not as fresh smelling as I could be, I always have perfume in my purse. So that's everything in that one little compartment. So moving on to the big main compartment, we have my sunglasses. These are Michael Kors sunglasses that I have had for years. I always keep these in my purse. They're definitely not my favorite sunglasses, but I mean, they're they're pretty cute, I guess. Ooh, this is actually kind of nice. Like it like blocks the light. I kind of like that actually. So I just keep these in my little sunglass case right here. And the other thing that I have in here is my wallet, which is also Michael Kors. For those of you who don't know, I, I love Michael Kors. Before I got the Chanel bag, the only thing I would wear is Michael Kors. I kid you not, I have about 10, 10, 11? I think it's 10. 10 Michael Kors bags, so I have, I have quite a love for Michael Kors. So yes, this is a Michael Kors wallet, and this compartment right here is where I keep cash, and let's see what I'm sporting. 
I have one, two, three, four American dollars in here. I had more in my wallet this morning and yesterday, but McDonald's, I was craving a cookie, and then I went and got a coffee this morning, so my cash is just gone. All right, and then when you open up my wallet, we have all of the good, good stuff in here. We just have my insurance cards. We have a net spend card. We have a Speedway Speedy Rewards card. That's pretty cool. Gotta save up those points for those slushies. We have some reward cards for coffee shops. We have my credit card, my MasterCard, and my Visa. We have my driver's license. And then let's see what else do I have in here. I have some work information with some passwords on it. Not going to show that. I have a Sephora Beauty Insider card. I have a Dave and Buster's power card so I can put points on and play games and I also have an old school Hot Topic plus one card. I don't even know do they even still take these anymore because I got this literally when I was in like a freshman in high school. I don't even know if this is still a thing anymore so that's all that I keep in that little zip pocket right here. Um, over here it looks like I have a receipt which, and that's another thing about me, I always keep my receipts on me until they clear from my bank because like, say the bank clears at like a different amount, I'll have the receipt as proof, you know what I, I'm, I'm kind of weird like that, so I always keep the receipt until it clears in my bank account, and this one looks like it was for Dollar General for $71.55, so that's what, uh, that's what that is. And then I also have a little stamp card right here for Avril's groomers. And if I get six groomings done, I get the seventh one for free. So I just keep this little punch card in here and she already has one, so she has to get six more or five more. Then in the other compartment, we have all of my clock in and out sheets for work. These, this is something I always keep as well. I don't know, it's just part of my little like organization thing, but I every time I work, I clock in and out and I always keep these little sheets. At the end of the month, I staple them and save them just in case something doesn't add up or I don't get paid when I'm supposed to be getting paid. I have proof of what I worked right here. So that is uh, pretty much all that I keep in my wallet. I'm gonna take these off because otherwise I'm gonna mess up my makeup. All right, moving on. Oh, we have a card down here. Oh, all right. So this card right here is my clock in and out card for work. Uh, as you can see, it says my name right at the top there with a little tiger and music and fun stuff. I had a coworker decorate this for me so that way I would have like, you know, a cool card to clock in and out at work with. Makes the day a little nicer, I think. Um, the other thing that we have in here is my birth control. This is the birth control that I'm on. It is Avion birth control. If any of you have ever taken that brand, let me know. Do you like it? I do plan on doing a video talking about my experience getting back on the pill. So, but I'm still giving it a little bit of time before I make that video. But if you guys want to see that, let me know. Uh, the other thing I have in here is a giant bag of change. I can't remember. Do a lot of people have just carry this in their purse? Um, I don't usually have this in my purse because it makes it very heavy, but every time I take my tips home at the end of the week, I always save the change, and then once I have enough of it, I go return it at a coin star so I can get cash because... Another fun fact about me, I cannot stand carrying around change with me. So I have this in my purse, so the next time I go to the store, I can stop at the Coinstar and get all this turned into cash. Let's see, the next few things I have in here are, hmm, that's interesting. I have some panty liners, you know, always good to have. I have four tampons. One for, you know, when the time starts and others for people who don't have any on them. Always got to look out for my girls. Uh, the next two things that I have in here is I have my book where I keep track of all of my money because I am very frugal. I am very much someone who always has to know how much money I have at all times. Uh, that way I can budget. That way I don't go over or under or whatever. So I always write down every transaction in this little book right here. I know a lot of people don't do that anymore because there's apps and you know phone things and I don't you I don't do that I am very old school so I just keep everything written down in here every time that I go and buy something I bring it home write it down 
you know, balance it, all that stuff. So that's what that is. Another thing is I have my checkbook and this was actually my dad's old checkbook cover. And when he passed away, I wanted to keep it so I can have my checks in there. So it just, you know, opens like that. My checks are inside. Let's see, we have straw wrapper, straw wrapper, another one, another one, another one, and another one. Oh, nope, last one. Right, and then the only thing we have left in this main compartment is this right here. And this is something that I never used to do. I never used to carry in my purse, but I do now because it actually really comes in handy. So when you open it up, it is a little tiny bag and inside is some makeup. I never, ever, ever used to carry makeup in my purse before, but as of recently, I just started doing it and I actually really like it. It's really helpful. So the top two things that I use the most out of this is a little kabuki brush and just some regular pressed powder. This is just the CoverGirl Clean Powder. Looks like that. As you can see, I use this a lot. And this is just nice to have on the go, especially like when I'm at work and I'm starting to get a little bit oily and I don't want to look a little bit oily. Um, I just go in the bathroom, pat, pat, touch, touch, and I'm good to go. So I do use this quite a bit and I just keep everything in this little artistry makeup pouch. I also have a little Equal Tools brush. I don't even know what kind of brush this is. I'm guessing this is like some sort of concealer brush. I don't really know, but I actually use this to touch up eyeshadow. And if you've ever been at work, and regardless if you use primer or not, if you go to work and you start sweating and your eyeshadow starts creasing, I like to go in the bathroom, swish, 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 blend, 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 and my eyeshadow looks nice and fresh again. So I always keep that in there. And then the last thing that I have is this L'Oreal Collection Exclusive. And this is in the shade 610, which is Ava's Nude. Now this, this lipstick is kind of expired, so I'm trying to use it up as much as possible before I get rid of it because I don't want to get rid of it yet because I love it so much, but yeah, it's just starting to get to that point, but I don't care, I still use it. It's just a really nice nude lipstick that I can quickly just touch up with at work and I'm trying to use it up before I have to throw it away. But yeah, that's everything that I keep in my little on-the-go makeup. I don't really need anything more than this. And again, this is from Artistry, which I got it for like a Christmas set one year. So yeah, I don't know where you can buy these though. So that's everything for the main compartment. Here is what the inside of the bag looks like. It's just a really nice hot pink with the little Chanel logo. And then it has the little often, author, author, authenticity authenticity tag down in that corner all right so moving on to the little zipper pockets inside i have a couple packs of gum in here and these are my top two favorite kind of gums favorite kind of gums my top two favorite brands of gum there we go that sounds better in the entire world so the first one is wrigley's winter fresh me and this gum go way, way back. Every single time my dad would pick me and my sister up for the weekend, I'll never forget it. His like 1991 Chrysler Sebring with gray leather seats always smelled like cigarettes and winter fresh gum. So this gum is a gum that I have known very, very well throughout my whole childhood. And still to this day, it is one of my favorite gums and it just, it makes me think of my dad too, which is nice. And then my other favorite is the Wrigley's Double Mint Gum. Oh, you guys, this gum, oh, it's the best. The other thing that I have in here is just a little notepad. It has Marilyn Monroe on it. And when you open it up, it just has little pages. As you can see, I'm almost, I'm like halfway through using it. I use quite a bit. And this is where I will write down quick little notes, whether that be for work or for bills, or I need to write down someone's phone number. You know, whatever the case may be, I jot it down. Again, I'm very old school. A lot of people will just type notes into their phone. I don't. I like to physically write them, and I have a little pen in there to do that as well. All right, the next thing that I have in here are pills. And I have many different array of pills in here. I have some ibuprofen, I have Tylenol, I have Excedrin migraine, I have 800 ibuprofen. All right, and then, oh, it looks like we have another little pill down here in its little pack, and this is Imodium. <laughs> if you guys don't know what Imodium is, Google it. <laughs> Basically, it's for diarrhea. If you have diarrhea and it just won't fucking stop, you pop one of these little babies, 
sucks everything right up. Right, and then the last thing in that pocket is just some headphones. Um, I don't use these super often, but if I'm ever somewhere where I'm in the car and I don't wanna listen to people talk or I'm sitting at work, and I don't want to leave yet, or I don't know, I'm just making shit up at this point. Whatever the case may be, and I want to watch some YouTube videos or listen to music, I have headphones in my purse to do that. All right, that is everything in that little pocket, and we have one more pocket to go. And in this one, I keep this little envelope in here. And what this is, is this is basically the proof of authenticity. This is the little authenticity. Is that how you say that? authenticity yes this is the little authenticity card that matches the bag so I have proof it has all of the little like cards and stuff in here so I always keep this with the bag I know it's probably not necessary but I just feel better knowing it's with the bag the next thing that I have in here oh I only have two more things left so the next thing is I have a Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer and this is the snuggle is real this is a cinnamon spiced vanilla antibacterial hand gel just looks like this and yeah like the smell of it is good but the thing I don't like about it is that there's glitter in it so every time you use it on your hands and then you look at your hand after it literally looks like you just wiped your hand all over Edward Cullen's asshole because it is so fucking glittery and then the only other thing I have in here is something that is such a lifesaver and literally every single one of you watching this video men boys girls women dinosaurs, whatever, you need to have these in your purse. And this is a poopery before you go coconut lime toilet spray. So basically, if you're somewhere in public and you gotta go number two, you can't really hold it, you can't avoid it, bring this little baby in the bathroom with you, you give a couple little spritz around the toilet, you go number two, you flush, and that's it. It doesn't smell like poop in there, so people aren't like, oh my god, the person in the bathroom right now is blowing that shit up. This stuff has saved my life so many times, I think I'm almost out of it, which is really sad. All right, guys, and that is everything that I keep in my purse. There is literally nothing else in here. I'm actually going to include myself um, putting everything back into my purse because I feel like that would just be really relaxing. That way you guys can see where I put everything, how I organize everything, because the other main reason why I wanted to do this video is because my purse needed to be cleaned out so bad it was a disaster so now that I have everything all emptied I can show you guys how I put everything in how I organize it how I make it look nice so if you guys want to see that let's do that right now And yeah, that is all that I have for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, as always, make sure to go down and give this video a huge thumbs up. Also, let me know down in the comments and let me know some of the things that you keep in your purse. I would love to know. Also, if this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, I just want to welcome you. Make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe button. I do upload every three to four days on this channel, so you don't want to miss out on any future videos. But that is all. As always, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>